my screen is visible right so well this is visible yes sir it's visible yes so <clears throat> Yesterday we uh, did one test case that uh, functional component is click event and that test result how it is coming. Okay, new two concept that I uh, add today that is hello and mount. Is one another is your snapshot. So first I'm going to discuss this hello and mount. So what happened, what is the difference between hello and mount? When you print, when you debug the application, uh, test the application. So if I will add the hello and component inside the hello, so it will only print the current component outliner, means HTML component, okay? But if we add mount, so it will uh, you can see that I have import the table component, right? If I would run with hello, so in my page app test.js, it will only show this thing as a console when I debug that. But if I will add mount, so from the app js, I will also target the table js, this thing also. So that is the difference. Means mount you can nested call it can be accepted and with that mount we can target the child component from the parent component okay but from the hello it will only target the current component text the html outline so same thing we just add one or two lines
you can see that hello wrapper is coming and if you'll add dot debug You can see that only it will display the current element, right? When I add the DD bug, wrapper the debug. So you can access the app JS element. The same thing if I will do Hello, comma, mount. Little mount. Run the test case. So you can see that table component, right? This one that is coming from the table that is also print in my component. So you can get the access mount and cell, right? How you can with that component always remember for debugging in the nested way. So we can use mount or hello, we can use when we add or write the test case from that particular component that they will use the hello component. I'm going to add another test case over here. That is your snapshot. Okay. So is there any question? Uh, hello and mount? No, right? No. Yes. Now, uh, next topic is that your snapshot. Okay. So, is anybody knows what is snapshot? Snapshot testing. No, so, sir. No, sir. Okay. So, snapshot testing. Uh, it's a process or you can say that it's a trick to write test to the react component so many times we are uh, not finding out that test results or when writing the test case that is very complex or we are not writing in a good way to debug the process okay what's the test case is there we cannot get in the output from the actual component so snapshot testing allows react developers to quickly generate test using a simple syntax so whenever i add the snapshot it will create different file in my test component and that is my point of contact if i will add anything and write going to write the test case it 
the condition not satisfied it will does not return any result instead of writing the test case uh, in the app test.js we can also create one snapshot file so snapshot means basically uh, when you use the hash module the for the css right so hash what happened it will generate the css part but if you debug the code base or the build folder of the hash so you can understand that there is one map function so what does this map function <clears throat> so map function basically map between the current component and that uh, your css and the ss folder from the set so same way if i create one snapshot it also will create one map file and from the map file automatically test case will be written and if add one anything inside the test case so it will be added over there so we can also debug from the snapshot also so how we can write the snapshot that is one step to so many installation we have to add it so uh, i am going to debug these things uh, and create one snapshot testing so you can understand that uh, the snapshot how it will work okay First, we have to add on this tip, we will put it's here. Yeah, yeah. And port point one. That is the version of reactive. Hit reactive, okay, not react. So react. The pudding folder. Now, after installation, we are going to add on test case. So, you don't find name. Items for this like the good get the I create items dot paste dot this for creating the test is for creating our test cases or snapshot we have to add following its condition in him in 
control yeah this in the computer machine point acting point one So that is the comment I already installed because it will take some time to react test renderer that is your that will be installed over here and this line is now we will add one item over there. Input uh, React React uh, Import Props type because we are going to check some props types from Props types. In the uh, list of items, the read on function items. We pass the props. Forms, items, I'm going to add a single item here, single item. In the list, I'm going to add and in the list. If items dot then One can and we can first right now. multiple items and beliefs also if items not name better than one Return even item input map item like 
No items on the list. That also. That also. Yes. No items. The list. default items items dot top types Is your items of type called drops equal to items so this default drop so there is no item inside that drop I have to import that item Sixteen component. Items Return. Items. Oh, 
now going to run that uh, component first. Okay. Uh, what we did? What we did? Yeah.
I first write the test case. I think some line model problem is there. So I think test case will be what? Input here. Items from items. So, items is there on the item that I have in the photo one. It describes. You can see that one snapshot didn't, right? It will go over there. That one file is created. Dot snap. It is automatically created when I add the snapshot. So, right now, if I change something and allow to test, so it is not written. Thank you. 
this issue. You see that snapshot in the DDD, no item in the list. So now I am currently operating from that file, not this file, right? Whatever I write here. Yeah. You for update this method and then back. I'm going to add one more. Got it to me. When there is a single item in that list, come on. Um, Item on on in the dot items. Pass the item right? Items. Items. I pass the argument like uh, pass from here, right? Simply. One not to match next one. Thank you, Ram. Can see that one step for billion and one step for even so that means I don't know automatically create one file one block right in the step so now I'm going to add this one to what I did it with hello Only a snapshot minus three, this is zero. Okay, so this is the problem. We need automatically the slate. It's one, one item I'll find. Inters correctly. There are multiple items in the 
item one B one render dot clear. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Dot. Uh, dot. Listen. Pick. One. Dot. To match here. this item will be here. One, two, three, right? Okay. Now I add uh, one more. Good. You see that? Lighting is not there. Refer zero plus three. Also, we have to add this thing here. If you will change in the item paste, also you have to change this. Okay. So any confusion for that? Uh, no. Hello. No sir. Are you there? All. Yes, sir. Uh, so you are understood, right? How's natural one? Yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, so, any problem for that code? No, sir. You all understood, right? Yes, yes. So, have you started anything from your side? I don't know what to say, I don't understand that. No sir, I don't know what to say. Hello? Yes? What do you say? Sir, I don't want to start demo hands-on. I'll start the ticket. I'll start the ticket. I'll start the ticket. No, yes. Sir, I don't want to start the ticket. Sir, I don't want to start the ticket. Sir, I don't want to start the ticket. That is not a video lesson. You are coming and... Changing the videos, right? You have yep. to also work on your side. Okay, you easily session, but it's not in a good way. You don't make a good way, and then we'll discuss. Yes. Okay, yes, sir. So, snapshot you understood, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, you all have to create this type of file and also make the part of it. 
next topic before going to the next topic uh have you any uh, in the project have you worked on api testing not yet sir using postman no no postman is there i'm telling about the from the test case means testing or not right right no no sir no okay. so first uh, same way that uh, i i'll create one test case in that axis okay how we can going to perform the test case in the axis so i suggest uh, that you in 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 your project you are working in fetch or axis can you please tell me Uh, repeat, sir. Which API call you are working? Main Axios. Axios. Axios, right? So it's better to demonstrate with Axios, right? So that's yes. what I'm asking. All of you are familiar with that Axios. So first we create normal JST module in the Axios. This day one demo will be there, and another demo in the React to Axios. Okay, how this kind of data we can mock and then render in the page or component. And also make the test case. Okay. Let's start, but it will end in ending the tomorrow or next day. First, the creating one module. In not React, that is normal gist module I'm creating. Same day. PM. You know uh, what this command does in PM minute minus Y? Hello? Our package uh, is only if you will put the npa minute so package json will create but minus y means it will create at a time all the thing is if, if you add npa minute okay then it expects some input from my side i have to add the inputs then it will create but npa minute minus y if you will run so by default internally creates the inputs and then create one package json file okay Okay, that is a different NPA minute and NPA minute minus one. Next, just module we have to add again NPM I just. Then we'll create one JSON server and also see that the package JSON it will update or not. JST is added, okay? And npm i. Yes. 
And NPM I axios that I'm going to add a model for axios. So how we are creating on index.js file. And what command have we written? It will add dollar npm init minus y dollar npm i dev gist module. NPM I final G integration server normal NPM I access. So now create uh, these all comments were used. Now creating one. In user.js file. Users .json. users ID first name test one Last name is almost any email. There you go. On email.com. Change the Now create one user or case. On the next day, I will write the request over here and create the logic of access 
I'll create one test case, okay? So I'll call that user.json file from my mock server and it will return this thing, local host is user to users. Demo maybe we will create. Okay. For uh, today, we doing this much, and from the next module, next day, I mean Monday, we'll com complete that user JSON test case for with the access. Let's uh, stop my screen sharing. Also, stop the recording. Any questions? Otherwise,